for those of you um, posting right now on my Twitter account and reading all of your posts and your support um, for myself, for the Cove Guardians, for Sea Shepherd. We thank you because honestly, it uh, it does help as you witness this and feel it so deep that uh, it's your words of love and support and encouragement that help them, certainly will help me wake up tomorrow and do this again. And, uh, you know, we thank you. I, I had a moment where there's a police officer that has been filming us the entire time as well. And uh, I had to walk off and I was crying. And he looked at me and he just went, and it makes you think that there are some here that don't like witnessing this either. And um, I encourage every single one of you to do something. And even if you can't come here and witness this, write letters. Write letters to your congressman, your assemblyman, to the president, to to your friends. Spread the word. It's about awareness and demonstrate. Gather your friends. Go to the Japanese embassy. Protest. Do something. And I know that we all sit there saying, how is my voice going to be the one voice that can be heard? But you know what? It all starts with one voice, and just need one, one person to gather an army, and uh, that's what we all have to be at this point. So do everything that you can. The letters work. Social media works. And myself, the Cope Guardians, Sea Shepherd, we will certainly be doing everything that we can. Another one. Hashem, one. yeah, if, if, you, if you could uh, maybe just uh, let everybody who's joining us right now know what you've seen so far today and maybe how you feel about things. Um, I mean, I think what I feel is incredibly obvious. I can't even, I can't process the capability of humans to be this cruel, to do this, it is, I'm, I, I just don't understand it in any way, shape, or form, and, you know, coming here is such a stunningly beautiful place, and I have such brutality to encounter murders is, uh, You know, you think, you watch, I watch, I sit at home, and I watch the live streams from Sea Shepherd, and I thought that I was prepared, and um, there is absolutely nothing that can prepare you, because you're here, and there is an eeriness to it, and especially after, after they've been slaughtered, the lapping of the water the dead calm, people start walking away, and um, it's eerie, and you just wonder how they're able to go to bed at night. How do these hunters wake up every morning? How do they do this? That's, I have no, I could never, it's, I, I, I don't have capability of hurting any, a human being, much less an incredibly peaceful, social, highly intelligent, familial creature. And um, I think being here rocks even the most hardened human being because it is just atrocious. You see these dolphins, this family, you see them 
stressed, you see them confused, you see them. And yes, you say, oh my God, jump the nets, jump the nets. But you have to remember they, they've been driven, particularly today, quite hard for 20 miles. They are exhausted and they will not leave a family member behind. They won't do it. You saw last year, hopefully, I know I did, on Sea Shepherd's live stream, Cove Guardian's live stream, of one that was outside of the nets and stayed there and stayed there and stayed there because its family was trapped. The juveniles that they dump will come back to try to find their mother. They are, um, it is a completely undignified, undeserving, horrific, horrific death. And they know it because they block us and they and they prevent us from showing the brutality, the completely inhumane slaughter of these creatures that were honestly a gift from God. And what are we doing? I am um, makes you incredibly angry and hurt. And um, makes you very spiritual. <laughs> it makes you pray. It makes you pray for the souls of these hunters. Because there is no peace for people like that. It's impossible. Um, and thank you again to all of you and and, uh, you know, just support, support and rally and protest and write letters and tweet and come here and bear witness and, um, don't give up. I will never give up. Don't give up. Cove Guardians, these brave, fabulous, amazing, amazing people. Come on, Cove Guardians. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a slobbering mess today. And Otto, who's behind the camera? We're sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, it's okay. Everybody here, this is uh, from right to left. This is uh, David Hans, uh, Cove Guardian team leader for this year. Uh, we've got Shannon Doherty, of course, and after that, Trent from Australia. That's Dennis, uh, who I mentioned quite a bit, but probably you guys never seen uh, from America, and also Tawny on the far left, uh, a very strong team. And it's particularly difficult today because, uh, especially for Shannon, who is uh, witnessing this, all of us are basically brought back to the first time that we've experienced this. And uh, as stoic as we try to be, sometimes it's just, it's just impossible. Uh, some of us, you know, we have the uh, fortunate uh, sort of like a chance to uh, not be on camera for this. Uh, it's really tough stuff, but once again, um, no matter how bad it is, it's secondary to watching your family get slaughtered and swimming in your family member's blood and then left alone somewhere uh, to be tortured for entertainment at home. So don't go to dolphin shows. Make no mistake. The connection is strong. If not for the uh, captive trade of dolphins, uh, these atrocities uh, could not possibly continue.